Madam President. The Senator from Florida. Madam President, uh, two topics I want to talk about today, actually three, but the, I wanted to begin with the Zika virus. A few weeks ago, I was in, went back to Florida on a Friday, and I sat down and met with the officials from the Department of Health from Florida. I met with leaders from Puerto Rico on the health sector. I met with doctors that live in Miami-Dade County and also officials of Miami-Dade County. I'm going to they're freaked out about the Zika thing. I don't know any other term to use. If they're freaked out, then I'm very concerned about it as well. And that's why I do support fully and immediately funding this situation, and I've asked our colleagues to do so as quickly as possible. I can only speak, I want to speak briefly about the Florida experience with this, and there's two things that are deeply concerning, and then I'll speak about some of the things we should be doing. First, the summer months are upon us. Anyone who's been in Florida in the summer, particularly, summer's already started basically in Florida if you go outside, the spread of mosquitoes as a threat virtually everywhere in the state is just massive. It's just a way of life. And the notion that there is this very deadly disease that we're still learning about, by the way, right? Just a few weeks ago, they said Zika, well, Zika only impacts a small population of people, a very significant population of people. We're learning that this disease impacts whoever it touches. You don't have to, first of all, you don't have to be symptomatic to spread it. There are multiple ways. In Florida alone, we've had at least uh, two cases of transmission sexually transmitted. By the way, it's just a matter of time before someone in Florida gets bit by a mosquito. I'm telling you, it's just a matter of days, weeks, hours before you'll open up a newspaper, turn on the news, and it's going to say someone in the continental United States was bit by a mosquito and they contracted Zika. And when that happens, then everyone's going to be freaked out, not just me and not just the people that work for the health department in Florida. This is going to happen. There is just way too many mosquitoes to avoid it. The second is that Miami-Dade County in particular, but a lot of Florida, is a transit point for all of Latin America. So for example, one of the places most impacted by Zika is Brazil. Well, this summer there's an Olympics in Brazil, and there are going to be hundreds of thousands of people that cross through Florida to get to Brazil and back on top of the normal number of travelers. It is just a matter of time. It is not a question of if, it is a question of, of when. So I look at this from a Senate perspective and say, we are going to fund this. We are going to spend money on Zika in Washington, D.C. Number one, because we should. It is the obligation of the federal government to keep our people safe. And this is an imminent and real threat to the public safety and security of our nation and of our people. So the money is going to be spent. And the question is, do we do it now, before this has become a crisis, or do we wait for it to become a crisis? And maybe that crisis happens in August, when everyone's back home doing their campaign stuff. Or maybe it happens on Monday, when everyone's back home doing whatever they do on recess. And then you're all going to get pulled back here to deal with this immediately. And I want to know what you're going to say to someone when they say, hey, you know, the Zika thing's been in the news for months. Now there's a case, and it can be in any state in the country. Any state in the country. Doesn't have to be in, oh, it's only in certain states that are warm. That's not true. It can be in any state in the country. I want to know what people are going to say when this happens, and they ask you, hey, what did you do about it? Well, I had real problems. I wanted to make sure that this and that. This, this is a serious thing. People's lives are at stake here. And by the way, this is now emanating into all sorts of other threats. It was mentioned earlier by Guillaume Barre. We know about the birth defects that are very significant. You know what the cost is going to be of dealing with all that? Do people, are people aware of what Guillaume Barre is? It is a de debilitating, often fatal disease. The cost of treating someone that has that is extraordinary. So what about where the money is going to be spent? Look, it's possible that at the end of the day, $1.9 isn't even enough. We don't know, but we have to start. Number one, we don't have a commercially available plan to test for Zika. You can't just go to Quest Diagnostics and get a Zika test. It doesn't exist. In Florida, if you want to get a Zika test, you have to go through the State Department of Health. Number one. Number two, a lot of people aren't being tested because they're not a pregnant woman, so they don't think they have to be tested. False. If you have traveled, I don't care who you are or how old you are, male or female, if you have traveled anywhere at this point where there are mosquitoes in significant amounts, you probably should be tested if you've traveled abroad into these danger zones. Because you can transmit it. You could be carrying it and not see manifestations of it for a while. And there is no commercially available plan. They talk about mosquito control. Mosquito control, they've only been trying that for thousands of years. Mosquitoes have outlasted everything. It's important, it has to be a part of it. But these two mosquitoes, one of the two mosquitoes that spreads Zika is resistant to pesticides. It's become resistant to the pesticides. And that's why there needs to be new technologies developed. And there are some innovative ways out there to cut down on the mosquito population. There's an innovative program now that's trying to start a pilot program in the Keys. That should be a part of this conversation. Researchers are pretty confident that this kind of disease, given its pathology, they can find a vaccine for it. 
maybe not next week, but they can find a vaccine for it. But you know what? The government has a role to play in basic research that allows the private sector to commercialize that and make that possible. I understand that we want this money to be accountable. I believe that. I do. I think the administration should come forward and say, here's our plan, here's where every penny is going to be spent, here's how we're going to spend it, and we should hold them to account, and if there's ways to improve it, we should. But I think this should be dealt with, with a sense of urgency. Because I honestly believe, and, and, and I don't believe, I know, that it's just a matter of time before there is a mosquito-borne transition and by, uh, uh, transmission. By the way, does it really matter how you got it, whether it's through a mosquito or sexually transmitted? You have Zika. It acts the exact same way once you have it. But it is just a matter of time before there is a mosquito-borne trans, uh, transition in, uh, transmission in the, in the continental United States. I also, not that anyone here has said that, but I've heard others say, there's no cases of it yet transmitted from a mosquito in the United States. That is false. Puerto Rico is in the United States. Puerto Ricans are American citizens. By the way, they travel in huge numbers to and from the United States. Many are moving here. Many, many work here during the week and travel back on the weekends. This is a catastrophe in Puerto Rico right now, which is a United States territory, and its people are American citizens, and they are facing a catastrophe right now on this issue. So I hope that there is real urgency about dealing with this. I understand this is not a political issue. There is no such thing as a Republican position on Zika or a Democrat position on Zika, because these mosquitoes bite everyone. And they're not going to ask you what your party registration is or who you plan to vote for in November. This is a real threat, and it is not just a tropical state. They may feel it first, but any state that has any significant travel, which is basically all 50 states of the Union, in a, in a, in a country where people travel extensively across the country and around the world, we are going to face a Zika problem in this country this summer and fall. And I just, my advice to my colleagues is we're going to deal with this. And I hope we deal with it at the front end, because not only is it better for our people, it's better for you. You're going to have to explain to people why it is that we sat around for weeks and did nothing on something of this magnitude.